in this particular lecture let's learn how we could take the to do items which we have inside the to do's array which we have and then display them up over here inside the web page instead of logging them in the console like that so let's see how that could be done so i could go back to code here and right now we are actually using console log to log them so let's see what happens if i try to directly log these over here so let's say after the form i say something like to do's will this work so if i do that and if i go back here to the browser as you can see it's being displayed up over here but these items are kind of clubbed together and we don't want that so we actually want to display those particular items one after the other inside separate divs so that means now we have to loop through every single one of those items so over here in order to loop through these to-do items which we have as this to do's is actually an array we make use of the map function here so i could say to do's dot map and this map now gives us access to every single to do item which is present inside of it now in order to access a single item here i could say item and then use a callback function here and inside this callback function i just have to make this entire thing return some jsx and the JSX which we want to return here is that we simply have to return the item which we are getting in there. So in order to return those items, you could either use some HTML tag or you could simply just directly display that item as well. So I could either use a div or I could use something like an H3 tag. So as soon as I add an H3, if I save this, now you'll be able to see that Prettier automatically adds these parentheses over here. And that's because right now we are actually returning some JSX and we all know that whenever we use the return statement, right after the return statement, we have this pair of parentheses over here as a opening and a closing one. And that's exactly what is being happening over here as well. So this to do's is an array, then we are using a map function on it. And this map gives us access to every single to do item. So in order to access that item, I have created a callback function here. The callback function accepts a particular item which we receive from here. And then that function returns some JSX. And as this thing returns JSX, we have these parentheses right here. And inside the parentheses, we are returning some JSX. Now, as we are writing JSX code over here again, I again have to make use of the curly brackets here. And inside the curly brackets, now I could say item. And that's it. If I save this code and go back here, as you can see, now we have play and dinner. So if I add some other item like lunch, if I click on add, it's going to be added over here to the to do list and it's immediately going to be displayed as well. Now let's add one more item over here, like let's say homework. And if I click on add, even that item is going to be added up over here. All right. So right now everything is working absolutely fine. We are actually getting a warning here and we are going to discuss that warning later. So for now, let's move back to our app. So here you will be able to see that we are looping through all the to do's and we are returning a to do list item here. Now this code, which you have up over here looks a little bit confusing and that's because it actually is. So typically in react, what we do is whenever we encounter such code, wherein we are mapping through something and whenever we are making a callback function, return another JSX, instead of making it return another JSX, what we could do is that we could actually convert this particular thing into its very own component itself. So over here, instead of making this callback return some JSX, we could make this thing a return or render a component itself. So as this is a to do list, what we could do is we could create another component over here called as to do item and we will make this to do's map through the items and then render to do item components. So let's go ahead and let's do that. Let's define a new component here. So I'll go inside components. I'll create a new file and I would say to do item dot JSX and over here let's write the typical code which we always write which is export default function which is to do item now let's make this thing return and over here i won't write any code inside return as of now and that's because here we essentially want to make this thing return whatever we have up over here so i'll just cut this code from here and make this thing return this which is an item now if i save this and if I save this as well, obviously this won't be saved because now 
here we have to actually return the to do item component which we have just created so here i could say to do item and if you add it this way it's going to be automatically imported so now this is returning a to do item so if you save this and if you go back here this won't work and that's because this to do item component which we are using here this needs an item to function so what we could do is we could take this item and pass this item as a prop to this particular to do item component so here i could say item equals item and now let's make this accept item as prop so let's destructure that prop directly and say item so here we are taking this item from this map we are passing it to this callback function and this callback function is now returning or rendering a component then we are taking that item passing that item as a prop to that component and over here inside that component we are accepting that prop and then simply returning some jsx so now as you can see this code looks much more cleaner and now if you go back over here to the browser and if you hit refresh if you add a new item like lunch that would be added here if you add dinner that will be added up over here as well now here everything is working fine except for this particular warning right here so what this warning says is that each child in a list should have a unique key prop so we are actually getting this particular error because whenever you actually map through certain items what you have to do is to this particular component you also have to pass in a unique key so right now if you take a look at this item and if you inspect this as you can see you have these h3s here if you keep on adding items over here you are still going to get h3s over here but there's no unique way to identify this item from this item so in order to identify items from one another in a unique manner what we do is we assign a unique id to each one of those items here now typically in real world applications in order to identify those items uniquely you pass in the id of those particular items as a key however as this is not a real world application we do not have an id associated with this to do item which we have therefore what we do is we use the item name itself as the key so here i will pass in key as a prop and i would say the key is going to be the item itself so if i do that now if i hit refresh and if i go to the console this time we won't have any errors so i could add dinner i could add lunch i could add homework and as you can see that particular warning has disappeared because we have added this key prop over here so remember that whenever you're mapping through certain items and whenever you're rendering some jsx or a component you always have to pass in a key prop over here so this is how you could go ahead and display all of the to do items which we have inside the to do's array which we have so right now our app looks pretty much ready that is we are able to add the to do items but in the next lecture let's go ahead and let's learn how we could style up our application so that it looks more modern so let's learn how to do that in the next one